Hi, this is Dreema, and today we are doing a client reading. And as always, I know who the client is and they know who they are, but I won't be saying their name during the video. Now, today we're going to be using the Legacy of the Divine Tara. And I've actually already shuffled these quite a bit before I turned the camera on. And that's just mainly because, for some reason, I only have a certain amount of time on my camera and it kind of just quits. So I want to make sure that I have enough time to actually explain all the cards and what they mean, okay? Now, what the question today is, basically it's a six-month forecast, so I'll be using um, six cards. And the client wants to know what, what month will she reconcile with the person that she cares about, okay? So I'm going to go ahead and lay these out. I'm using a little bit different spread today. Um, this is the six month spread. Each one of these cards will represent a month. This one here will begin on this side and work our way around. Um, this card here will represent September, October, November, December, January, and February. So I'm going to go ahead and turn these over and have a look at them. Okay. All right. Now, I'm going to start actually over here, and what we have is the Queen of Coins. Now, this is our card for September. Now, this is an interesting card because, um, as you can see from the image, you know, she's got a bright light coming from the top of her head. It just kind of shines. It's very bright and very brilliant, okay? So... Um, what I'm getting for this card, and actually for the month of September, um, is that this seems to be a good month overall, okay? Um, this month is about caring and and truth and just overall happiness is what I'm getting. Um, there seems to be a bright spot that is going on. Um, however, I really don't think that this is the month that there will be some sort of reconciliation. Um this is the month, I believe, about hoping and caring, okay? Now we're going to move on to October. And as you can see, October is the temperance card. Now this is interesting. As you can see, in the image there's an angel and there's water coming down and there's fire. There's a lot going on in this image, okay? Now you have to remember that this is about um, whether or not there'll be any kind of... Um, you know, rekindling of old love. That's really what we're looking for. Okay. Now, this month, like I said, is October. Um, to me, this is a month about, temperance is about healing and, you know, there's water coming down and fire. It's about, to me, healing. That's what I'm getting from this, um, is that during the month of October, there will be a lot of healing that goes on with the client. I'm still not seeing a lot of potential um, rekindling of relationships. So we have August, September, or September, October, and this would be November, sorry. Now, November is the Page of Wands. Now, this is interesting because, to me, the page is all about, um, about youth, okay? Um, it, it's a very, as you can see, he's, he has a very determined look on his face, and there is some sort of innocence about this card, okay? Now, the Page of Wands normally means that um, that there's going to be a person in, what I'm seeing is there's going to be a person that will come back into your life. Someone that is um, very impulsive and creative. Um, and because it's the Page, to me it's kind of like a rebirth. So I would say that during the month of November, that's when I really feel that um, this rekindling may begin almost like a fresh start, um, you know, with, with someone that, like I said, it, it will be impulsive. This is nothing that's planned. It's going to be on the spur of the moment, okay? Now we're going to move to December. And December, as you can see, is the Ace of Cups. Now, this month, to me, is all about, um, it's about love. It's about happiness. Um, you and this person that you'd like to reconnect with, that this will be a very, very good month for you. Um, there's going to be a lot of happy times, almost like a honeymoon period. That's what I'm getting, okay? 
So, and then we have the January card, which is the Three of Swords. Now, this month is going to be a little rough. Um, this this card to me is about it's about emotional pain. Um, something is going to happen within this relationship that will cause you emotional pain, and quite a bit of it. Um, I, I I'm not sure if this relationship that you're rekindling. Um, it may become rocky, okay? Um, some things that happened in the past may come to the surface and bring up old memories and cause a lot of emotional pain for you during this month, okay? Now, lastly, we have the sixth month, okay? And what we have here is the nine of coins. Now, this is an interesting card because you have to remember that you had the rekindling of a relationship, you had the honeymoon period, and then you had a period of, of just emotional despair. And then the last month actually looks really good. Um, and the reason I say that is because this is a very positive card. Um, the Nine of Coins, as you can see, there's an archway, and it's just there's coins everywhere. She's holding up a bird. This is a very positive card. So what I'm seeing is there's really only one month out of the next six that is really a bad month, and that would be this one where there's emotional pain. Now, to me, this card is about increasing things. You get things during this month. So what I'm seeing is that um, I really think there's going to be an increase of gifts of the relationship. You will begin to reap the benefits of this relationship. Things will begin to get back to normal and the emotional pain from the month before will be put behind. Okay. All right. That does conclude um, my six month reading for the client. Now, um, I do hope that everyone joins me again and we will talk to you next time.